Hey what's up guys, today we will find the root locus using MATLAB. The objective of our session is to discuss about the location of poles and zeros, asymptote, the breakaway point and the point at which the locus crosses the imaginary axis. So before doing the simulation on MATLAB, we have to know about the root locus. What is root locus? Root locus analysis is a graphical method for examining how the roots of a system change with the variation of a certain system parameter commonly again with a feedback system which is denoted by k so let's take some example and perform the simulation on matlab let's see we have an example which has a transfer function of 1 over s into s plus 3 here you can clearly see that it has two pole one at 0 and one at minus 3 so let's perform the root locus of this system. First of all, we have to write the code for the transfer function of this system. It has a nominator 1 and the denominator value is 1 and 3, 0, 1, 3 and 0. So for transfer function, we use command tf tf into nominator and denominator if we evaluate this section we will get the transfer function for root locus we have to use the command r locus into system here it is our complete code to find the root locus for this transfer function let us run this section here you can see that it is a root locus uh, diagram or a root locus plot for this transfer function. In this graph we can clearly see that it has two pole one at zero and second pole is at minus three. You can check it by just clicking on the pole location. When you click on it here you can see that pole at minus three which has a gain of zero. Similarly when you click on this point you can clearly see that it has a pole on 0 and with gain 0. And this vertical line is the asymptote in this section. And this point, this midpoint is the breakaway point for this graph which is located at minus 1.5. So we can analyze pole and zero locations break of a point asymptote in a single graph of root locus diagram so let's take another example which has a transfer function this it is a third order system so let's evaluate in this section on MATLAB we have to change the value of nominator and denominator and the remaining procedure is same denominator has value 1 5 6 and 0 so let's evaluate this section here you can see that it is a graph for this third order system in this graph you can clearly see that it has three pole one at 0 one at minus 2 and one at minus 3 you can uh, justify this by clicking on it here you can see that pole at minus 3 and uh, here you can see that it has a pole on minus 1.96 which is almost at 2 and the third pole it has on 0. In this case the breakaway point is where the two locus are divert in different directions and it has a value of minus 0 0.785. In this graph we can also see that the point at which the locus crosses the imaginary axis. Here you can see that it is a point where the locus crosses the imaginary axis it has a gain of 30.6 and uh, it has a pole on 0 0.009 and similarly in the negative imaginary axis here you can see that it is a point where the locus crosses the imaginary axis it has a gain of 29.6 and pole 0 0.006 so let's take another example I hope uh, you will clear from this example. It is a feedback example of third order system. Let's evaluate this in 
MATLAB. Numerator has value 1 and 1 and then denominator has value 1, 4, 6, 4. So let's run this section. Here you can see that it is the root locus diagram of a third order feedback system. Here you can clearly see that it has one pole at minus two and two complex conjugate poles and a zero on minus one. It is the breakaway point for this graph which is located at pole minus one. Since the locus is not crossing the imaginary axis, so we don't have a value for that. I hope you like this video and you are completely understand uh, what is root locus and how we can draw it on MATLAB. So if you like then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Stay blessed.